Okay, so it's uh, it's been a while. Soz. Hey guys, it's Jazz here. Now I wear glasses, as if that wasn't obvious enough. Just to remind you, you know when you put things in plain sight and people just don't notice. Yeah, that was crap. Let's start that again. <clears throat> so glasses, aka an additional burden to everyday life. Now, don't get me wrong, I appreciate what glasses do, because without them, the world would be a massive blob. A big blurry blob, or a buffering YouTube video, without Wi-Fi, or 3G, on a deserted island, with a flip phone. Remember when those were a thing? Ah, nostalgia. I've been wearing glasses since year 7, so about... 6 years? been that long. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So it's fair to say that I've had a few a handful of glasses in my short period of time on earth and if you have the right pair of glasses it arguably makes you look better than you do without glasses but at the same time it can have the opposite effects. I managed to get something. They both got brush against us. So yeah I'll meet you back in the studio. Peace out guys. Sometimes it feels like having glasses is like having a messy child. Except it's inanimate and you wear it on your face and it's plastic and glass and my metaphors are just not on point today. Long story short, you gotta clean them a lot. Otherwise everything just looks like a big HD blur. A big HD furry. Furry? <laughs> a big HD blurry fog. And speaking of fog, let's talk about winter, aka Hoodie weather! I'm sure you're aware that London <clears throat> isn't the most summery of places to be. So when I come back home smelling of pollution and, and cigarettes, ah, the beauty of London. The moment I get inside, it feels like I've been hit with a massive smoke bomb. Losing your glasses is quite a hassle. Hassle? Bit of an understatement. So when you lose your glasses or misplace them, it means you don't have them on. Unless you're a twat and you do have them on and you're like, oh, where are they? They're on my face. No, oh, wait, they're on my face. Okay. Uh, but yeah, generally when you lose your glasses, you don't have them on, which means everything is blurry and you're looking for something that's relatively small. Do you see what I'm guessing at here? Glasses, man, God's sake. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go out blinds. Yeah, okay. Let's go out blinds. Alright, cool. No prop. Everything's blurry. I can totally see. I love life! And then there are situations where you flat out can't wear your glasses. Or at least I can't. Like, for instance, I go to Taekwondo classes every week, twice a week. That's a new thing I've not told you about. I do that. <laughs> and I see other people wearing glasses and there, it's fine, no big deal. But for me, I, I, I just can't. Because knowing me, I'm probably going to get kicked in the face and they're probably going to break or fly off my face. And I, I just don't trust myself with that. And do you realise how expensive glasses are? Why is it so expensive to see? People are August. There you go. I made a new term. Okay, cool. Another time when wearing glasses is a bit inconvenient is going to the cinema to watch a movie. More specifically, 3D movies. You're posed with a couple of issues. The first one being you're sitting down comfortably with just the 3D glasses on, meaning that anything 3D that comes out at you is like a 3D hallucination that you're having. The second situation is when you have to constantly worry about holding both pairs of glasses in place so you can comfortably see the movie but you're hassled with the fact that you've got to hold your glasses constantly like this for the duration of the movie. Or you just don't wear the 3D glasses and just wear your normal ones but then you just wasted money by doing that. Like You could have gone and seen a regular screen but I mean whatever you want Whatever your preference is your life, I'm not going to judge. <laughs> yeah, I've not done this. I've not done this in about a month. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I've been quite busy with family and um, um, 
I was also busy playing Persona 5, not gonna lie. But if you like this video, please feel to ah. If you like this video, please feel to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, because I am gonna be posting more now. I'm gonna go back to my regular weekly videos. Don't forget to uh, follow my social medias if you're interested in me or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. What? Peace out.